you can swap input sockets and that's very useful when you're blending colors. I'm going to uh, actually uh, output here a function blend which will be using a red and blue uh, controlled by a float. So I have now a flow where this value is controlling the mixture of a red when it's down to zero and the blue when it's up to one colors. And when I'm at 0 0.5, I'm getting a 50-50 mixture. But if I go down to 0 0.2, for example, I get more red, I get like uh, one-fifth uh, blue and uh, four-fifths red. If I want to swap the inputs, instead of getting this connection and connecting it there and then getting this connection and connecting it here, which is really tedious, you can just press Control w and that swaps the inputs. And that's really fast. And if you want to swap the second and the third, which in this case doesn't make sense, but I can still do it. Control shift w swaps the second and the third. This breaks the flow because we get the float plus uh, blended with the uh, input and uh, the, the third socket is also not correct. Um, we took this shortcut from Fusion, so if you have used uh, Ion Fusion in the past, Control w should be familiar. Uh, and that's a really fast way to actually swap inputs. Uh, inserting of Magma nodes, uh, we're trying to perform it automatically as much as we can. That means if you, for example, select a node and then you want to multiply the result by something, you just press the multiply and with this selected node, you see that it says insert on top of the title bar. And that means that, um, yeah, we can actually uh, create a new node and it will land in the floor. I can do an add or I can remove this one and with this selected I can do a multiply. What I can also do is I can select the actual wire instead of the node and I can do multiply by, by one or whatever value I want and that will also work. So insertion works automatically. Uh, the other thing that we um, can do is instead of inserting when I select this one and press the ins key on the numpad it switches to the so-called connect mode and if I press multiply now it splits branches out instead of inserting into that uh, existing wire it actually creates a new node in a new branch. Uh, you can go even further with this if you're doing ray intersection uh, you get a lot of our possible outputs. If you start pressing the uh, ins key you're going to go through all the sockets so if you intend to output something from the normal for example uh, you can use the ins key to go to that socket and then press the corresponding key instead of creating the node and then trying to hit the small point and connect it to another small point. We're trying to avoid connecting nodes as much as possible. If you have two nodes selected and press space, you can try to connect them automatically if the sockets make sense. For example, if I do an input geometry node here and the shift position node and uh, let's say some vector and I select these uh, nodes here, if I press space bar, uh, it actually connects them automatically to the socket so I don't have to drag and drop around. Um, some of the uh, nodes actually have buttons for insertion, uh, so I can do type conversions or inserting other logic nodes, uh, like in this case if you have an intersect ray and you want to perform a face query for example to get to its uh, mapping coordinates, you can press this button and the new node gets inserted and not only that, it actually gets connected to all the possible inputs and outputs that it has, that it needs in order to operate. So it got the right geometry and it got the object index, face index and vary coordinates automatically. Similarly, you can do conversions from vector to float, for example, here at the bottom you see extract x is going to take this vector and in introduce a breakout that connects the x channel only or you can introduce a uh, conversion like transformation into world space or camera space of that vector by just pressing one of those buttons. That means in some cases you have really fast ways to uh, convert things. I'm going to open a scene that contains a PRT loader created from particle flow that is jumping around and if I want to do coloring by age for example, I will add a KCM on top, like magma modifier. I'll create output as color and then what I need is I'll be using um, the keyboard shortcuts. I need H divided by lifespan, so I do Shift A for H. I do divide. I do Shift lifespan, but the H and lifespan, unfortunately, are not 
uh, floats their integers. Right now it doesn't really make sense. Notice that auto update is off, so I don't really get an error yet. But the good thing is both H and Lifespan have a button that say convert to float. So I do convert here, I do convert here. I have now the true converted to floats, and all I need is uh, function blend. I'll press Control W and Shift Control W to bring that one into the control slot. Shift one and Shift three, and auto update. And now I have red in the beginning. When the particles start dying, will turn into blue. Uh, and I created this one without actually connecting anything with the mouse, dragging wires. It was just automatic uh, insertion of nodes and uh, connection of nodes, which is the fastest workflow for creating a magma flow. You can change the type of any operator on the fly. In this case, it doesn't really make much sense, but if I wanted to multiply instead of divide, I can just go here and pick another uh, type, and in this case, I'm multiplying the age by lifespan. doesn't make mathematically much sense, but it's possible. I can go and add the two values together and things like that. Um, we can drag wires from a socket, uh, just like in uh, the... Uh, Slate material editor in Max. If you're, uh, for example, are creating a scene where, let's say, we have back this teapot and we're going to try to put all the particles on a plane, I create a plane underneath and then I say, uh, for example, object ray intersect. This is what I want to do. Um, this will be actually connected here and uh, I can drag geometry. I can drag ray origin and it actually inserts two nodes, position converted to world space. And then I, if I drag from ray uh, direction, it's going to create a menu that asks me what input I want. But if I drag and hold control, it will give me a default 0, 0, minus 1. And I just have to pick uh, geometry here. And then my particles are uh, bumped down to the ground plane. If I start moving this uh, plane, uh, the particles will move with it as long as they are above the plane. So uh, dragging from sockets, uh, it's a good thing and um, in some cases it pops up a menu, in some cases actually when it knows exactly what is the only option to be connected there, it's going to create it for you. You can extract nodes from an existing flow, for example if you don't want this to be there, you can hold shift, drag it out and now you're not in world space, you're in object space. I'll do. And um, you can select an existing connection and you can insert into it using, again, the space bar. In this case, instead of undoing, I'll select this uh, position wire there. I hold control, press, click on this node to select both, then press shift, I mean, I press space, actually, and it uh, reflows uh, the position through the conversion. So if I hold shift again, I can extract it out and I can uh, reinsert it by clicking the one, the other and pressing space. You can remove nodes pressing delete, but that's really a bad idea. If I do delete here, I'm going to lose the wire, so position is not connected anymore. Um, if I press backspace, it's going to delete the node and the connection will remain, which is really useful. Of course, you can just remove the node uh, and then when you realize that you don't really need it, you can select it and delete it with the regular delete key or with the backspace key. But in general, I suggest that you use backspace instead of delete. That's the best practice. Another way you can uh, get rid of that node temporarily if it's there in the flow and you don't want to convert to a world space, but uh, we want to see what it looks like in object space, you can just disable it. In this case, there is not uh, much difference because that PRT volume uh, is not very offset, but if I offset it, uh, now you might start seeing a little bit more. Uh, and this position here should also be transformed to world space in order to actually go wherever the ray hit. Um, you can use con uh, control P to switch the on and off of any node, uh, including outputs. So if I go and disable the output for position, the whole flow here will be ignored and nothing will happen and only the color will be set. So control P is also taken from Ion Fusion. So if you know how to connect flows there, you can do it in Magma also. We have also the elbow node, which is a, a permanently disabled node. That means it always passes through. So if I want to wire 
something from uh, somewhere. For example, let's say that we have this flow reordered and I want this guy to be there, but this wire should be going like this. I can go and insert uh, an elbow into this flow and this elbow allows me to just re repart the wire, but it's always passing through so it's not operating on anything. The size of this guy is actually controllable here, so you can go and make it bigger if, if it's easier for you to see. 